My name is Michelle Campbell. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm 43 years old. I have five children. Um, and one of the things I find important is that the Medicaid, how they're trying to cut the Medicaid. We need Medicaid. We need that for um, early preventions and different diseases, not just for the children, but for adults as well. And also the Medicare they're trying to cut. The seniors need that and people that's disabled. You don't even have to just be a senior. You can be a younger person that has Medicare. And then they're trying to cut Head Start. Head Start is very um, fundamental for ages three to four. And it prepares them for kindergarten. And uh, all five of my children went through the Head Start program. And I had a chance to be on the Policy Council Committee to see the different type of funds that come in for the trips, the buses. So if they cut that, then the children are not being prepared for the future of the kindergarten. And I feel like if they have Head Start, then they get a um, stepping stone as to getting to kindergarten to better their education. It's going to impact me because I received Medicare and Medicaid for um, myself and the children. And if they cut those funds, the first funds they're going to cut um, will be podiatry, um, they've done that in the past, um, which is for the foot doctor, um, dentistry. People don't have money to cover um, no expensive procedures that need to be done, not just cleaning, um, but extractions. They're very um, expensive. You have $200 just to get one tooth or um, a couple of teeth pulled at $200 per tooth. That's a lot of money. Nobody has that money to pay. So it's very essential that we keep these services. Um, at reach. I will tell them to look at the um, system more closely because these benefits are very beneficial and we need them all the way across the board from the medication to the mental health and if these services are cut then um, people you know need medicine for different mental issues they won't be able to get the medication and then you, then they're out in the street and, and there's no telling what can happen because without the medication, they're not balanced. So we need the medication. We need um, all the funds. We need all the funds that you're trying to cut. And I, what I would say is look very closely to this once again before you um, make this decision. Representative Bentopolio, we need jobs and not cuts into the other politicians.